Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe. Capricorn, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and oracle cards to reveal the messages that are here for you. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because by doing so you get a much fuller picture of the messages that you're working with this week. If you don't know where your planetary placements are, I have linked in the description box below a website you can go to and input all your birth details and the website will calculate and give you your own personal natal chart so that you can come back and you know which videos to watch next. So Capricorn, you have two major arcana cards that you're working with this week. So you have some really powerful energies that are here for you. And the first card that you have is a card that sees you wanting justice around a situation. This card, it really can be a draining type of energy. This card can also be the card of karma. The justice card is about the law. So you could be going to court this week or you could be signing maybe some business contracts because this is also ruled by the justice. The justice card is about fairness, it's about order. It's about your principles. What are your principles, Capricorn? And are you standing in your power? Or are you feeling like you are losing yourself? Are you feeling like you are losing your vitality, your life? Because whatever you are dealing with, Capricorn, it has an energy of, I want to stay fair, but this thing has been going on for too long. You're losing your vibrancy. You could literally be losing sleep, having nightmares. But it is time to make that final decision about what you want to do. Because no matter what is going on in the world, Capricorn, it is always up to us how we act, how we react, what we do. So how can you stay in your joy? How can you stay in your power despite what is going on with this situation that is rather draining of your energy? And we're seeing that maybe by going on a quest, that soul-searching quest could do you some good because we have the energy of the hermit and the energy of the hermit is about going within, is about asking yourself those hard questions. Is this situation worth it? Is it worth losing my health? Is it worth losing sleep? How can I stay balanced? How can I stay in my power despite feeling agitated, anxious, about this situation. So you're going in, in your soul, in your heart, and you're going on a quest because we can even see with the, with the image of the hermit, it's the same type of energy of, I am tired, I am sick and tired. And you're understanding that you are gonna bring light to your own life. It is your responsibility to see how you can mutate this darkness, this heaviness into light. And you do so by asking yourself those hard questions, by connecting with the divine, praying about it, asking your guides for guidance, for help, for solutions even. Because like I said, this situation our two images are almost similar in the in how they are drained, how they are tired, how they cannot really see a way out. But always, the divine is saying, there's always a way out. See how you can bring joy into your life. See how you can bring pleasure and beauty. How you can restore this, this light that used to be around you despite what is going on. 
And like I said, the divine is saying that you always have your guides, you always have your guardian angels and the divine, of course, to pray upon, to seek the strength and the help that you need. And the divine is really here warning that the more you stay in this heavy and dark energy, the more you can just start feeling more and more drained. You can start losing yourself to this heaviness, to this denseness. Start coming back into your power, into yourself. And you're going to see that this situation, no matter what happens, you're going to learn how to stay joyous. How you can learn to stay connected to the divine, drawing energy and strength from something that is greater than you. Capricorn, the next card we have is lovely, actually. Seeing how much color and, and energy that you have lost, this card is here signaling the end of a tough situation. So this card is saying the end of a tough cycle approaches. Could it be that finally you decide? All right. This is what's going on. To bring my energies back up. To bring the joy, the life back into my life. I'm going to start painting. I'm going to start playing music. I'm going to start bringing into my life those things that I enjoy, the things that light me up and fire me up. And in doing so, this end of the cycle can approach a lot quicker because the more you stay in this heaviness, the more it just seems like nothing is moving, the more this situation that just stays stagnant, brown and, and draining. So we're seeing that we now have a card that speaks about a new romantic cycle beginning. So this could literally be a cycle of love, but this could be a cycle that you start bringing lightness and, and joy into your life. And that feels so good. That feels so loving, so gentle to you. That feels balanced. You were called to bring balance to a situation and we're seeing with our oracle card, we have another card that is asking again for balance. And in bringing in balance, you can start feeling a lot, lot better than you are now. And our next card is asking you to surrender to the divine. You're seeing that the more you stress and worry, nothing changes. The more you push, nothing changes. The more you fight and threaten, nothing is changing. And then when you finally give up this situation to the divine, you're going to see that this situation starts changing a lot sooner. And so surrender this situation to the divine. Protect your energy, protect yourself, bring joy back into your life and let the divine help assist you in this situation. So Capricorn, I wanted to see the energies that you were working with this week and you're working with the energies of Aries and the energy of Aries bring that fire, bring that light to you. The energy of Aries is the energy of I am. I am powerful. I am magnificent. I am beautiful. I am happy. You carry on with the I am's. Because the more you do that, the more you start seeing yourself lifting yourself up from the depths of hell that you're currently in. I am divinely protected. Carry on with the I am's and let that warmth, that passion, that light, that fire really start bringing back the life back into your life. Because with Aries, this is where it all begins. There is so much potential. There is so much power to be gained from the energy of Aries. So Capricorn, I wish you all the luck in the world with this situation that you're currently dealing with. Don't forget to share this video with anyone that you think needs to hear this message. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. On that note, I'm gonna see you in my next video and it's a goodbye.